Hey guys, how you going? Welcome to this episode. Right, this is a continuation video from when we did the plunger and the nudge board. So, once the settings got fitted on this, um, I was really excited about the ball. Um, you know, you could hit the cabinet and the ball would move. But um, after I got playing a few games, I, um, I found when I hit the board, sorry, hit the, hit the cabinet this way, sideways, the ball would go up and down. And then once the game was in play, I'd play and then the ball would, um, it would come down, I'd give it a whack sideways and it would go, the ball would be like going up and down the screen like jolting up and down the screen as it's coming down and it wouldn't go left or right and then I thought to myself um, this is absolute shit I can't play I can't pull the ball this way or that way something's wrong so then I thought um, I tried to I tried to google and find um, about the KL25Z board Maybe it had to be a certain way for it to understand which way it was going. And um, it was very hard and I found I found a video on YouTube by a French guy um, and I couldn't understand him because all I could see was do 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 that's all I could understand. But he was pointing the right things so I'm thinking I'm going to do this in English so we're actually going to work out, I'm going to show you in the settings um, I found out my ports were facing to the left and uh, my settings, you actually go into the settings and you can actually, you actually have to tell into the settings, go into the settings for the KLZ, oh, KL25Z board go into the settings which I'll show you shortly um, you've got to, actually got to configure which way the ports are facing no matter, like when you build your pinball, it doesn't matter which way you, you um, mount the board, but in the settings you've got to tell it which way you've, you've mounted it. So once I've changed the settings, the ball started reacting to exactly how I wanted it. But anyway, let's go into these settings and I'll show you what I learnt. Alright, well, what we're going to do is we're going to press escape. And that'll take us up to um, the menu up here. So I'm actually going to go into my setup. So I've double clicked on my setup. So I'm hoping you can see that. We're going to go into... Um, I've got pin 2 and pin scape so we're going to go into here double click on that we're going to go into pin scape because the KL25Z board is a pin scape setup alright now we're going to go into configure tool and then we go into pin scape configure tool EXE shortcut and then you get this file which I'll bring you closer right so then we go along here and we go into settings and that this will load right so what we do is we know we're, we're not Pinscape expansion board we are the standalone KLZ KL25Z, I keep saying KLZ, I don't know why, because I had a KLZ motorbike. Alright, so we go down, and this is where you're going to see, I'm just pressing the down button, right, I've already done this, but see this square here, this is how I've set my KLZ, my KL20, KL25Z board. Because my ports, if you remember on my nudge and pinball um, video, all my ports are to the left. So we'll set it. We'll set the cable up like that. And 
and and when I when I, when I had a mate um, set it up for me, the ports are facing towards um, the front of the cabinet, and that's why it was playing a bit stupid. So what you do is you press, you click on that instead of. So you click on that, and then you go program KLZ. We don't want to do that. So it's already to that, and that's fine. Um, the only trick is once you've gone to that, um, you go program KLZ and then it'll save and do its thing and you might have to, you might have to, uh, you can do test buttons and everything in this menu um, and also does a live sensor for the view as well. So if I click on that. Um, I pull my plunger back now and it's going to do that. There you go. So you can actually see it. So every time you change something, you'll have to do this. And you just press calibrate and then go pull that back, hold it one second, let go. Pull it back, one, wait one second, let it go. And do it about five times. And then um, close. And it should be done. So I'm just going to close that. I'll show you what else is on here as well. So this is the settings and this is how I've fixed it up. So it does matter which way the KLZ, um, KL25Z works. Right, so these these are the buttons I've set up mine. So enter is plunger and launch. My shift is my right flipper. Um, that is start game. That is my left flipper. That is coin. So that's how I've set my, that's, I just put my wiring in there and that's where they are. Alright, so, and you just close that off. And I'm just going to show you, um, just going to get it going again. Alright, so now that I've shown you the settings and that type of thing, I'm going to show you a game. And I'm going to show you, um... Probably best to get an older table where there's not much stuff in there and the ball can really fall down from the top. So you can actually see me pulling the table um, so we can actually um, nudge the ball wherever you want to go. Alright guys, right, we've got um, Gottlieb's Torch. So this is a three ball um, game. So um, I'll pick, try to pick a table. All right, I tried to pick a table um, that's not that noisy, and there's only two two pot bumpers up here. There's only two pot bumpers here, so there's a long four. So we should be able, to, if we nudge it, it should we should be able to guide the ball left or right. And you're going to see the table move like this as well. All right, I'm going to try and get, uh, so you can actually see my, my actual movements as well, knocking the ball around. So let's get it away from there. All right. So I ended up pushing it that way and it went down there, did you see that? It's just something you have to experience, but yeah, the nudge is definitely working. So well, I'll even try and do it when it comes down now. Uh, so unpredictable pinball tables. Yeah, so if I, if I want it, if it goes down the middle, I tend to go that way, and it'll it'll go that way. It's like pushing the table under from under the ball. So I want it on that side, so I gave it a nudge that way.
Yeah, I should have went like that. On that one, I was a bit slow. Oh, God, I was daydreaming. That would have been perfect then, wouldn't it? get that one. Went, I should have put it the other way. Oh god. Stuck that up. Save that as well. There you go. There you go, guys. Um, there's some examples of nudging. Um, it's, it changes the whole aura of the table. Um, it's It was good to have an eye pack to start off with. I would never go back to an eye pack now after having the KL, KL25Z board. Um, Massive difference in gameplay. Um, if you're a newbie, I definitely get one. Definitely get the um, analog plunger, and um, definitely get that going. I reckon. So you, have, you can have a lot of and really manipulate the ball. You can really manipulate the ball with that nudge. It's just a bloody amazing. Alright guys, hope you um, enjoyed the video and learnt something there.